Okay, we're gonna wash the car. A full walk around. I think I've seen much dirtier cars that have sat for 20, 22 years. It is quite dirty. All right, it's all washed up. Let's see what it looks like in the morning once it's dry. Alright, it's the next day. Car's all dry. So what I'm going to try and do today is get rid of stuff like this. Where stuff has been sitting on the car over the years. It's all marked up. All the scuffs and scrapes. So we're going to be using 3M rubbing compound. I've already tried a small spot where that big scuff was. Just by hand, it took most of that scuff off. Uh, we're gonna be using a dual action polisher today. So we'll get set up and start buffing away. All right, we've got the new buffing pad on here. Alright, like so much better with just the rubbing compound. Gotta do this to uh, 42 more feet of car. All right, so we're getting the interior clean too. We're just going to town on this. 
and scrubbing it with a scrub brush. It's getting a lot of the dirt out of it. And it actually looks pretty good. I'm uh, cleaning it with, it's a mold and mildew cleaner. It's got kind of like a bleach in it. It burns the eyes a little bit, but it's doing a great job getting all the dirt off, so. Just can't live with it. And you give it a quick wipe. I'm back working on the Edsel today. Got the water pump back from having it rebuilt. So we're gonna go ahead and put that back on. I went ahead and painted the water pump. Might as well while we have it off. They were uh, nice enough to send new gaskets with it. They kinda got uh, folded up in the shipping, but should find out just fine once I bolted on. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get some bolts out and get bolting this back on. Got the new wheel cylinders here. The only place that had the front was Rock Auto, so I just got all four from Rock Auto. Now looking at the brakes, there's actually lots of shoe left. The hardware is in decent condition, so we're just gonna reuse all that and change the wheel cylinders out. got done rounding up the uh, new tires for the Edsel and uh, use the porta wall white walls that put together with a general tire actually looks pretty good I'm not gonna lie I'm actually pretty impressed I didn't have high hopes for these got these off of Amazon it was like 80 or 90 bucks for them but yeah, I am actually really impressed with the fit. They look great. The general tires actually balance up really well. Most of them are an ounce or less. So yeah, that's going really well. So off camera, I rebuilt this gas tank. And by rebuild, I mean I washed the inside out with muriatic acid. Uh, you can get that pretty much anywhere for your pool. You do want to wear lots of uh, protective gear because it is very, very volatile. And if you use it wrong, you can injure yourself. So use that with caution. I use rubber gloves, a uh, respirator when you're using it, and well-ventilated area. Got all the rust out of it. Um, this one was actually nice enough and then on the inside I didn't need to use the tank liner but uh, on others I have relined them with the 415 tank liner. This guy right here actually works really well just it takes a couple days for it to cure. Uh, I buy it in the gallon now because there's no point I'm always going to be buying old cars so save a little bit, buy a little bit more. First time driving in 30 years. Excited. Speedometer works. Odometer works. Need some shocks. Man, it's been a long time coming. 